In the hushed embrace of a monochrome era, where celluloid dreams painted the canvas of the silver screen, there existed a moment of cinematic enchantment that would forever carve its mark into the tapestry of our memories. It was the year 1953 when Roman Holiday unveiled itself to the world, a tale of forbidden freedom and serendipitous love set against the timeless backdrop of Rome's cobblestone streets and whispered secrets. As you recollect your first encounter with this masterpiece, the rush of emotions is inevitable. Perhaps it was Audrey Hepburn's luminous charm, a beguiling ingenue who dared to step out of the gilded cage of royalty and into the arms of an unsuspecting journalist. Maybe it was Gregory Peck's portrayal of a man who discovered that life's most precious moments often unfolded when you least expected them. Together, they danced through Rome, their laughter echoing against the ancient walls, inviting you to share in their stolen moments of joy and vulnerability. Ah, the memories. The whimsical vesper ride through the streets of Rome, the impromptu haircut at a charming barber shop, the bittersweet longing captured in a simple peck on the mouth. Each scene, a brushstroke of brilliance, painted a story that transcended time and etched itself into the recesses of your heart. And now, as we journey deeper into the annals of this cinematic gem, let's uncover the hidden gems and intriguing anecdotes that make Roman Holiday an ever-shining star in the constellation of great films. From the improvisational brilliance that gave rise to unscripted moments, to the behind-the-scenes tales that added layers of enchantment, prepare to delve into the enchanting realm of facts that illuminate the magic behind the silver screen. So, dear traveler through time, join me as we embark on a voyage through the enchanting labyrinth of Roman holiday, where facts and fables intertwine to create a mosaic of wonder and nostalgia. Step beyond the threshold of ordinary, and let the allure of the past guide us through the maze of cinematic creation. Chum, 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 chum. Roman Holiday, a 1953 film directed by William Wyler, unfolds as a captivating blend of romance and comedy. The film introduces Princess Anne, tired of her royal obligations, who escapes her handlers in Rome. During her escapade, she encounters American journalist Joe Bradley, unaware of her true identity. As the two explore the city together, a genuine connection forms, transforming their journey into a heartwarming adventure. This cinematic gem's origins trace back to Dalton Trumbo's story idea, which was reworked by writer Ian McClellan Hunter due to Trumbo's blacklisting. Audrey Hepburn's delightful portrayal earned her an Academy Award, cementing her status as a Hollywood icon. The film's unique style stems from its picturesque Roman setting, witty dialogue, and the chemistry between its leads. Roman Holiday continues to leave an indelible mark on popular culture, celebrated for its endearing narrative and the enchanting charisma of Hepburn and Peck. Its influence resonates through various romantic comedies, making it a timeless classic that still captivates audiences worldwide. Audrey Hepburn's unforgettable wardrobe gift, Roman Holiday's lasting impact in 1953, Audrey Hepburn graced the silver screen in the enchanting film Roman Holiday, a timeless tale of love and adventure. Yet, the allure of the movie extended beyond its captivating storyline. Paramount Studios, at the culmination of production, presented Hepburn with an extraordinary gift, her entire wardrobe from the film, a collection encompassing hats, shoes, handbags, and exquisite jewelry. Intended as wedding presents, these tokens of admiration carried an unforeseen twist. Shortly after the film wrapped, Hepburn's engagement to James Hansen, a notable businessman later known as Lord Hansen, came to an unexpected end. The connection between the film's gesture and the real-life dissolution of Hepburn's engagement added a layer of intrigue to the movie's legacy. Meanwhile, within the narrative, a pivotal moment revolved around a tantalizing offer of $5,000 for an exclusive story accompanied by photographs. In 2015 currency, this sum translates to a staggering $44,000 underscoring the film's relevance even decades later. Behind the scenes, an intriguing agreement took shape between Paramount and the British government. Careful stipulation was set, no mention or insinuation of a connection between Roman Holiday and the British royal household, particularly Princess Margaret. In response, a scene materialized with the sole aim of clarifying that the princess was not British, highlighting the lengths to which the creators went to avoid any potential misinterpretation. As the years have passed, Roman Holiday continues to captivate audiences, not only with its enchanting plot but also with the unexpected twists and turns that unfolded behind the camera. From Hepburn's gift turned bittersweet to the valuable sum in the movie mirroring real-world inflation, and even the covert agreements with foreign governments, the film's legacy remains as intriguing as its storyline. Sources, IMDb, Paramount archives. Audrey Hepburn's unforgettable Oscar win and the real Italian charms of Roman Holiday in 1953 second cinematic gem Roman Holiday. Audrey Hepburn graced the silver screen in her first starring role, capturing hearts worldwide. However, it was a behind-the-scenes tale that truly showcased her endearing charm. At the 26th Academy Awards, Hepburn secured the Best Actress Oscar for her luminous performance as Princess Anne, a role that would forever define her legacy. Yet, as the envelope was torn open and her name announced, a wave of disbelief swept over Hepburn. Overwhelmed by her triumph, she embarked on an unexpected detour to the stage, a path that seemed more labyrinth than red carpet. 
breathless and flustered, she delivered an impromptu speech that left the audience enamored with her authenticity. But the story doesn't end there. As the celebration continued, a twist of fate led Hepburn to misplace her coveted Oscar, leaving it behind in the ladies' room. The brief separation between actress and accolade was a fleeting hiccup, as they were soon reunited, destined to live happily ever after in the annals of Hollywood history. Yet, it wasn't just the on-screen magic that made Roman Holiday a legendary film. The embassy ball sequence, a pinnacle moment of the movie, sparkled with a touch of reality. Genuine Italian nobility graced the scene, embodying the elegance and authenticity that director William Wyler sought. Astonishingly, these nobles generously donated their salaries to charity, seamlessly merging fiction and philanthropy. And while the streets of Rome were a playground for Princess Anne and Joe Bradley, the reporters who concluded the film were no mere actors. Real journalists lent an air of authenticity to the story's end, capturing the essence of a city that had captured hearts. Nearly five decades later, in the year 2000, Gregory Peck reflected on the film that had etched its place in history. Speaking during the documentary A Conversation with Gregory Peck, the legendary actor fondly recalled Audrey Hepburn's radiant day Debut. He likened her to a flower suddenly blossoming and asserted that she was destined to embody the enchanting princess. Peck's words were a testament to Hepburn's ineffable charm, forever intertwined with the magic of Roman Holiday. As the decades have passed, Roman Holiday continues to enchant audiences with its timeless tale of romance and adventure. Audrey Hepburn's Oscar Odyssey, the mingling of real nobility and journalists, and Gregory Peck's poignant reflections all contribute to the film's mystique, ensuring its place as a cherished classic. Cherished classic. First class, 1953 seconds Roman holiday, Audrey Hepburn's casting dilemma unveiled in the annals of Hollywood history. The 1953 cinematic gem Roman holiday shines as a beacon of romance and unexpected adventure. However, beneath the glitz and glamour lies a tale of casting conundrums that threaten to alter the course of film history. Audrey Hepburn's star-studded presence almost didn't grace the screen due to her commitment to another iconic role, sparking a clash of creative aspirations. Initially budgeted at a modest $1.5 million, Roman holiday they exceeded all expectations, reaping a staggering $5 million in the domestic market. The movie's charm, along with the undeniable chemistry between the leads, captivated audiences far and wide. Yet, it's the clash of artistic visions that truly intrigues. Audrey Hepburn's casting as Princess Anne in the film conflicted with her concurrent commitment to the titular role of the Broadway production of Jiggy, a character personally chosen for her by the famed author Colette. Remarkably, William Wyler, the director of Roman Holiday, postponed production for a remarkable six months, demonstrating unwavering determination to secure Hepburn for the lead role. This act of patience not only ensured Hepburn's participation but also cemented her status as a cinematic legend. The film's success, coupled with Hepburn's endearing performance, redefined her career trajectory, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Intriguingly, within the narrative of Roman Holiday, a seemingly inconspicuous argument unfolds between the characters Anne and Joe. The dispute centers around the origins of a poetic verse, Arethusa rose from her couch of snows in the Acrosronian mountains. Joe's assertion that Percy by Shelley penned these words prevails over Anne's alternate attribution. The line is indeed a fragment from Shelley's poem Arethusa, an exquisite detail that underscores the film's meticulous attention to intellectual nuances. As we revisit the enchanting world of Roman Holiday, we're reminded that the magic of cinema often conceals its own share of backstage drama. Audrey Hepburn's casting tug of war, the unexpected budget triumph, and the poetic skirmish within the film's narrative tapestry collectively paint a portrait of a timeless classic that continues to inspire and delight. Roman Holiday, a cinematic masterpiece where the allure of Rome intertwines with the complexities of human emotions, remains a testament to the resilience of creativity and the power of collaboration. As the credits roll on this cinematic journey, we find ourselves immersed in the timeless allure of Roman Holiday, a film that whisked us away on a Vespa through the cobbled streets of Rome, while weaving a tale of hidden identities and unexpected love. The silver screen holds a mirror to our own lives, reflecting moments when we yearn for liberation, for the intoxicating taste of adventure on our lips. Every frame of this 1953 masterpiece carries whispers of unspoken desires, of stolen glances under the warm Roman sun. Audrey Hepburn's luminous grace and Gregory Peck's irresistible charm become indelible imprints on our hearts. Perhaps it's that iconic scooter ride through the enchanting alleyways or the bittersweet farewell on the Spanish steps that resonates with you. Roman Holiday isn't just a movie, it's a collection of memories we never lived, a place where fantasy and reality intertwine. It's an invitation to ponder the roads not taken, the chances not seized, and the moments we long to relive. As you wrap yourself in the warmth of nostalgia, take a moment to share your personal connection with this cinematic gem. What scene ignited a spark within you? Which line of dialogue etched itself onto your soul? Your story, your voice, is what keeps the magic of Roman Holiday alive through the years. Thank you for allowing this cinematic voyage to touch your heart and soul. Your time and engagement enrich the tapestry of shared human experience, making each frame of this movie even more vivid. So, let your thoughts flow freely, and let us celebrate the echoes of Roman holiday in our lives.
Here's to the enduring magic of cinema and the stories that shape us. Stay enchanted, stay captivated, and keep those memories alive.